It's unlikely that Isaac Newton got smacked in the head with an apple, but it's likely he saw an apple fall and started thinking about forces and gravity, and this ultimately was part of the thing that led him to the laws of motion, the three laws that basically govern everything around us. So let's go over the laws of motion. Also because I animated them in my latest YouTube video and I'm really proud of my animations and I wanna show it off again. The first is the law of inertia. This is the law that states that any object at rest will remain at rest and any object in motion will remain in motion until something else acts upon it. The second is the law of force. An object's acceleration depends on the mass and the force applied to it. The third is the law of action and reaction. For any action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The best example of that third law of motion and the one that people love to argue with me on is a rocket. People will argue till they're blue in the face that a rocket can't fly in the vacuum because there's nothing for it to push against. To which I say, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The explosive force of a rocket engine burning is an action. The reaction is that the rocket goes the other way. Rocket science is hard. Rocket basics come down to Isaac Newton.